Welcome to Bite Force, presented by the Danbury Public Library. Our goal in this program is to discover which animal currently living on the planet has the strongest jaws of all the animal kingdom. So far, we've learned that bite force is the amount of pressure a jaw can produce when biting down. We've also learned that the polar bear has the eighth strongest jaws, the gorillas have the seventh, bull sharks have the sixth, jaguars the fifth, and hippopotami the fourth. But who has the third strongest jaws? Well, they're long creatures with thick tails that walk close to the ground with a lumbering kind of gait. And they have bumpy skin that looks like it's covered in scales. And they love to spend their days in the water. Can you guess who they are? This week, we're talking about the prehistoric-looking American alligator. There are two species of alligators currently living on the Earth. There's a Chinese alligator and then the larger American alligator. The American alligator is the largest reptile in North America. They live in freshwater wetlands of the southeastern United States. This means they like land that is marshy and swamp-like. An area like the Florida Everglades is a good home for American alligators. American alligators are toothy creatures that kind of look like they're smiling. The thing is, American alligators have between 74 to 80 teeth in their mouth. In comparison, adults like me have 32 teeth, while younger people like you have 20 teeth in your mouth. So the alligator has us beat in the tooth department. What's more, they can replace their teeth when needed, and they don't even have to go to the dentist to do so. If a gator's tooth wears down or falls out, it's replaced by a whole brand new tooth. Amazing, huh? Our teeth can't do that. An alligator, on average, will go through 2,000 teeth in its lifetime. On average, male American alligators can reach lengths of 8 to 10 feet long. The thing is, they continue to grow throughout their whole lives. So the average length of 8 to 10 feet is not their maximum size. Some alligators have reached lengths of over 15 feet long and weighed up to 1,000 pounds. That's one big reptile. Do you remember when we talked about gorillas and how we learned that they use tools? We learned that using tools shows that an animal has a certain amount of cognition or thinking ability. Apes, dolphins, sea otters, elephants, certain birds like crows, and us humans all use tools. And so do alligators. American alligators have been seen using lures to attract birds. A lure is an item that catches the eye of someone or something. So for example, if we were to go fishing, we would attach a lure to the end of our fishing line in the hopes of attracting a fish. Gators do something similar. They balance sticks and small branches on their heads to attract birds looking for nesting material. When the bird lands to pick up the stick, that's when the gator pounces. An alligator moving along the ground is a funny looking thing. They kind of look like they're waddling a bit. See, alligators have two different walking styles depending on how fast they want to move. If they're not in a hurry, a gator will walk in a low walk style. This is more of a sprawling walk, meaning that their legs are bent outwards and more to their sides. But when an alligator sees something it wants on land, it'll switch to using a high walk style. This brings their body into an upright stance, straightening their legs and moving them more under their bodies makes them move faster. American alligators are very important to the environments they live in. They create small ponds where they live that are known as alligator holes. These alligator holes retain water during the hottest parts of the summer. When the rest of the wetland areas are running dry, the alligator holes still have water in them, giving a habitat for other species that rely on water. Without the alligator, these alligator holes wouldn't exist and many species that depend on them wouldn't have a home. This makes the American alligator what is known as a keystone species. 
an important species whose actions affect the environment and other species around them. If we remove a keystone species from the environment, we can actually have detrimental or bad effects on other species that live in that environment. But the thing is, American alligators were once an endangered species. This means that their population was once so low that there was a possibility that they could become extinct, like how dinosaurs are extinct. Extinction means there's no more left on the planet and we can't get them back again. But thanks to special laws put in place to protect these animals and their habitats, American alligators are no longer endangered. There are now over one million gators living in the United States. So, just how strong is their bite? Well, these guys pack a punch in the jaw department, coming in at 2,125 PSI, or pounds per square inch. That is 325 PSI more than the hippopotamus, 625 PSI more than the jaguar, 775 PSI more than the bull shark, 825 PSI more than the gorilla, and 925 PSI more than the polar bear. These guys are carnivores. This means they eat mainly meat. They like to chow down on fish, reptiles, mammals, and as we learned earlier with the lures, even birds. The bigger the alligator, the larger the size prey it can consume. Alligators are social animals that like to gather together in groups. A group of alligators is called a congregation. So we have a congregation of American alligators, all with impressive bites. But how? If we look at their skulls, we can see that gators have very large mouths. In fact, it kind of looks like their whole head is made up of mouth. They also have a good-sized mandible. But no real sagittal crest like we saw with the polar bear, gorilla, or the jaguar. So what do their jaw muscles attach to? They attach right to their necks. Their largest jaw-closing muscle of an alligator has evolved to be so massive and powerful that it needs even more room than a sagittal crest can provide, attaching itself to the bones in their neck. And that's what makes gators' necks look so huge. That's all that jaw-closing muscle in there. Impressive, right? The reason they need so much muscle is they're ambush hunters, and they need a lot of strength to grab and hold on to their prey. Young gators quickly develop those powerful jaw muscles so that they can catch prey. But the thing is, since gators never stop growing, their jaw muscles never stop getting stronger. And they get so large and powerful that they're more strength than a gator actually needs to catch food. So they have a lot of excess power in their jaws that they really just don't need. So are American alligators dangerous to us? Well, they can be. They're powerful creatures that are actually very fast. Alligators can run at speeds of 35 miles per hour on land and swim at speeds of up to 20 miles per hour. So they can easily outrun most prey. But the thing is, attacks by American alligators, even though they look big and scary, are actually very rare. Alligators are afraid of humans and prefer to avoid us whenever they can. When attacks happen, it's usually the result of the gator feeling threatened and trying to get away, and us just getting a little too close. The key to living with American alligators is to not feed them, to respect them, and to give them their space. As long as we do that, people and American alligators can live near each other safely. Today we've uncovered the third strongest jaw in the animal kingdom. We're nearing the top of the list. Tune in next time as we uncover who has the second strongest jaw. Until then, stay safe and stay curious. Bye everyone! <laughs>